What? That is strong love. John 3 verse 16 For God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only Son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Wow! You aren't in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. This Jesus is God raised up, wherefore we are all witnesses. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. It's a Resurrection Sunday. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, He is risen. And before I get into praise and worship and the Word of God, I am going to pray with you. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning. And Lord God, we're so grateful unto you for this day. We thank you, Lord God, for Jesus Christ. Lord God, knowing Father today that he is risen and we have hope and we have that joy in him today. And Lord, we pray that the presence of the Holy Spirit will be with us as we go today. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. To be with him, sin has a way, and sin separates you and me away from him. The cross is where his love put out, but the story wasn't all we yelled. There's an empty grave, death was defeated. Jesus.
4, verse 1. Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came to the sepulchre bringing spices which they prepared and certain others with them. Chapter 2 And they found the stone rolled away from the supplicant, and they entered in and found not the body of Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid, and bowed down their faces to the earth, and said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you, when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, and be crucified, and the third day rose again. And they remembered his words, and returned from the sepulcher, and told all these things unto the eleven and to the rest. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, and Mary, the mother of James, and the other women that were with them, which told these things unto the apostles. And their words seem to be as idle tales, and they believed them not. Then arose Peter, and ran to the sepulchre, and stooping down, he beheld the linen cloth laid by themselves, and departed, wondering to himself, at that which was to come to pass. Chapter 36 and 37 And as they thus spake, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them, and said unto them, Peace be unto you. But they were terrified and frightened, and supposed that they have seen a spirit. 38 to 40 And he said unto them, Why are ye troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet, but it is I myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit has not flesh and bone, as ye see me have. And when he thus spoke, he showed them his hands and his feet. 41 to 43. And while they yet believe not for joy and wonder, he said unto them, Have ye here any meat? And they gave him a piece of boiled fish and of an honeycomb. And he took it and did eat before them. 44 to 45 and he said unto them these are the words which i spake unto you while i was yet with you that all things must be fulfilled 
which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Then open he their eyes and their understanding that they may understand the scriptures. 46 to 47 And said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it shall be that Christ to suffer and to raise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in the name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. Verse 48 And ye are witnesses of these things. And now it's time for our question and answer period. And our first question for today is, who were the men in clothes that gleam like light? And the answer is, they were angels. And our next question is, what did the angels tell the women at the tomb the answer is they told them that why do you look for the living among the dead because he is not here he is risen and the next question is what did the women do when they returned from the tomb the answer is, they told the others what they had seen. And the next question for today is, when were they able to recognize that Jesus was with them? And the answer is, they were, their eyes were open as Jesus took the bread and bless it and break it and gave it to them and our next question is what did these two do after Jesus disappear and the answer is they return to Jerusalem to tell others what had happened and our next question for today is what did Jesus do to erase their fear and remove their doubts? The answer is he showed them his hands and his feet. He also ate fish with them. And our final question for today is, why did Jesus open their eyes? And the answer is, so that they could understand the scriptures and begin preaching the gospel. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope you were able to follow along and answer to be one of the darkest times in human history became the most joyous time because Jesus had conquered sin and death. You see, our faith as Christians is centered around the resurrection and we know that it's a joyous time because he is no longer in the grave and we have a victory over sin and death you see the bible tells us that 
Death, where is your sting? O grave, where is your victory? And we know that sin produces a death. Because the Bible also tells us that the wages of sin is death. And even though we have this victory, we must understand that unless we accept the gift that is offered and believe, because the Bible tells us that for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. So we must take that first initial step to accept Jesus as our Lord and our Savior to be able to to even say death where is your sin because without accepting him we have no hope but thanks be to god for his mercy for sparing us from what we did deserve that he made preparation for us through his son jesus christ and as believers in him, we must be joyful to share the good news to others about the resurrection. It is our mandate, it is our responsibility to let others know that Jesus loves them and that he says thank you so much today for listening and thank God that we have hope in Jesus Christ and before we go I'm going to pray today that the Lord will open our eyes and that our hearts will be receptive to his words to the call and that we will answer and receive the free gift of eternal life through jesus christ hallelujah thank you jesus amen and don't forget boys and girls today that as you go throughout the week it is a reminder to us that jesus is alive and we must get excited. We must tell others that Jesus is risen. Bye for now and have a fantastic week. And we will see you next week.